the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. I am Father Lazarus of the monasteries of Antony, the Red Sea in Egypt. I am speaking these words now to correct some misconceptions, some wrong ideas which exist, have been widely spread in Egypt about me. First of all, I am not Russian. I am Australian, born in Tasmania, an island south of Australia, but part of Australia, politically. I heard about St. Anthony when I was in Australia from an Egyptian girl, from a Coptic girl, who told me about his life and read me parts of his life by Athanasius. She encouraged me to come here to this monastery in Egypt. She encouraged me so that I would be a monk in the Coptic church of in the monastery of St. Anthony in the Red Sea. And that is how I first heard about this monastery and how I decided to come here. Now, it is also said that my, my, my acquaintance with St. Mary, my relationship with St. Mary, her adoption of me as her son, her offering of herself as my mother, all occurred before I saw her in the church. This is not true. It happened when I was in, the, in a church in the Serbian monastery in Australia, the St. Sava monastery, where there was a wonder-working icon of the three-handed icon of St. Mary where she has her two hands holding the child Jesus and the third hand which is painted by St. John of Damascus in replacing the hand that was cut off by the iconoclasts. This famous uh, third, third three-hand icon, there was an icon of this kind in the monastery and it was through that icon, from within that icon that St. Mary emerged and appeared before me and said to me, I will be your mother. She offered herself as my mother through that icon. Now. That was the first time even I really realized who she was. I had heard the word Virgin Mary before, as everybody has heard it, but I knew nothing about her until that moment in the church when she appeared to me. Now, after that moment, it was a long time before I came to know Jesus Christ personally, to have the readiness, the preparedness, the faith to commit myself to Jesus Christ, but it was always with St. Mary that I spent my time. Now, at the end, of my training when I started to become a monk. I wanted to become a monk in Egypt in response to the teaching which this girl gave me about the life of St. Anthony. I went to a monastery in Australia, a small monastery which is a Coptic monastery which has two monks and at that stage one of the monks wrote for me a letter, a letter of introduction to Bishop Johannes of, of the Coptic Church here in Egypt who was at that time the secretary of Pope Shenouda. And this letter would give me an introduction to him who could then introduce me to the Pope. So when I came to Egypt, I had this letter with me. And I went to the to Abyssia, to the Cathedral, to the, the, the home of the Pope. And I offered this letter to Bishop Ioannis as a letter of introduction to get me inside the door. Bishop Ioannis himself, I think, took it to the Pope. In any case, Pope should have received me. And uh, from that, that meeting came my entrance into the church. After, after I had become a Coptic monk, after I had spent some months with Pope Shenouda in St. Peshoi Monastery, I then made a visit to the monastery of St. Anthony, and I then met St. Anthony himself in the cave where he spent the last part of his life, and I was then adopted by him as his son. All of that happened long after I had introduced myself with a letter written by a Coptic monk in Australia to give me to make my way, my entry easier. Now, it's said that this letter was written by St. Anthony. It is not, was not. It was written by Father Isaac Elantoni. It is said that St. Anthony gave it to me. St. Anthony did not give me any letter. He spoke to me in the cave and told me, you are my son. I love you as my son. Now, these, these are the true facts of that aspect of my life, that part of my life. The details of my monastic life are available on the YouTube in the CYC broadcasts, which I've made to explain how St. Anthony's life is still living today in many of us who try to follow his way. Not only me, but other monks here in the monastery try to follow the way that St. Anthony lives. And anyone who is interested can come and visit and see how we live here. In the name of St. Mary, St. Anthony, and all the saints, God bless you.